So far two continuous distributions have been introduced, namely the uniform distribution and the exponential distribution. This section, section 5.3, introduces a third distribution which is known as the gamma distribution. Here is one way to develop the gamma distribution. One way to think about it is adding a shape parameter to the exponential distribution. Go along the following lines. Recall that the definition of the gamma function looks like this. Gamma of kappa is the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the kappa minus 1 e to the minus x dx for some kappa value which is greater than 0. If you make the substitution y equals x over lambda, that will inject not only a parameter kappa, but another parameter lambda, which is assumed to be positive. And this expression will look like this. A little more complicated now, but you'll notice that there is a lambda and a kappa that shows up in this distribution. Now the last thing you can do is divide both sides of this equation by gamma of kappa. So the gamma of kappa comes underneath. You get a 1 on the left hand side and you have the integral from 0 to infinity of this quantity right here. Well think about it. What type of function is it that integrates to 1? That makes for a great probability density function and its support is going to go from 0 to infinity and that's exactly what you're going to see on the next slide. So a continuous random variable x with probability density function f of x is equal to the lambda to the kappa x to the kappa minus 1 e to the minus lambda x divided by gamma of kappa for x greater than 0 for some real constants lambda and kappa which are both positive parameters is a gamma random variable with parameters lambda and kappa. And this lambda has a special name it is known as the scale parameter and the kappa in this particular distribution is a shape parameter. The cumulative distribution function for a random variable x which has the gamma distribution with parameters lambda and kappa is capital F of x is equal to the integral from 0 to x of the probability density function f of w dw. You can pull the lambda to the kappa power out front. You can pull the gamma of kappa out front because they do not involve w. And that leaves the integral from 0 to x of w to the kappa minus 1 e to the minus lambda w dw. Now you can then do a change of variable if you want to let y equal to lambda w and when you make that substitution the integral will change this way. Notice that the upper limit changes as well. Finally when you come down to the bottom here you cannot express this in closed form. You are stuck with it as an integral and this integral is known as the incomplete gamma function. This probability density function takes on another uh, a number of interesting shapes. Again its support is positive support so there's some nice applications for the gamma distribution. Here is f of x and in fact when, when kappa is equal to 1 this collapses down to lambda e to the minus lambda x and so when kappa equals 1 this reduces to an exponential distribution. When kappa is greater than 1 it assumes a shape that looks like this and when kappa is less than 1 it has an asymptote at 0 and looks something like this. So it takes on a number of different shapes.